it's bold, but it can also feel cozy because it kind of envelops the room in that color. Oh, that sounded romantic. <laughs> like, I know we said this was in last year. No, throw it out. Buy this. Eeny weeny. You know I was going to mention something sculptural. You know I wouldn't trip. Yeah. Now I've been debating. I've been debating. <laughs> It's the cat for me. Child ain't nothing in here. <laughs> However, I am going to be spilling some major tea on trends according to me. Now, first order of business, 5,000 subscribers. <gasps> Thank you. I need you love me. You really love me. <laughs> 5,000 plus of you babes have hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my shenanigans and I truly just want to say thank you. I know I thank you every video, but no, seriously, thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. I've only gotten a few hate comments here and there, which I don't understand why you watch somebody that you don't like or relate to that never made any sense to me but thanks for the extra view here on youtube and contributing to my pockets but seriously i really do thank you guys i'm so excited for us to grow even more and me to bring you more comment <laughs> more content um, i actually love engaging with you guys in the comments i try to answer everyone that doesn't seem like spam so yeah thanks again okay well now that we done got that out the way, how y'all doing with y'all country ass? So back to the trends. Before we get into this, I just feel like I have to say, if you're one of those people who are just like, I hate trends, I don't do trends, they're dumb, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Shut no! Get over it. Like, trends are not going anywhere. They're just not. Every design style from wobby to glam was a trend at one point. Whether it stuck or not. Became classic or not. Flopped or not. They've all been trends at one point in time. Aside from that, it's needed for the economy. If trends didn't exist, most stores wouldn't either. There would be way less people revamping their homes and their businesses. Like people would literally be begging you to make purchases. Hey folks, we need to make some money. Give me a quarter, five dollars, anything. Now I've been debating, I've been debating, I've, <laughs> I've been debating on whether or not I should do a video like this because I've actually watched countless videos about 2023 trends and I've even read some blogs and it's a lot, okay? Like everyone has a different opinion on what's gonna be in. Ugh. What essentially happens every year is stuff that is in gets overdone, overproduced, and we get sick of looking at it. So they come up with these marketing strategies to refresh your eyes. AKA spend more money. Like, I know we said this was in last year. No, throw it out, buy this. And it's up to you ultimately to find out what's worth buying, what's worth purchasing, if it fits for your lifestyle or fits in your home. So like I was saying, a lot of stuff gets overdone and we get tired of seeing it in everybody's home like it's not special anymore. They're trying to cancel Boucle and the Mario Bellini sofa. How? <laughs> Oh, How to wait. Did take a few steps back. I'm not canceling them. I'm just sorry. I still think they're classic. And it may not even be canceling, but just kind of paring back on pushing people to buy that so it doesn't lose its value, so to speak. I pretty much summarized everything that I have been seeing, that I've been researching. And what I've come up with is the new trend for 2023 and the foreseen 
foreseeable for foreseeable future i think that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> it's gonna be colder and bolder not frigid or icebox like more on the lines of mixing colder and warmer pieces, making bolder choices in your color palette and your furnishings and your paint. Here are my top seven picks of the list and a few items that fit. Bars. Now, of course, marble made it, cause duh. Now, let me say, you don't have to completely transform or renovate your space to enjoy some of these trends. What I like to do is grab a small piece that still makes sense for my space, but gives me like a fresh, a refresh. I have loved seeing marble, of course, but the ones that are out of the norm, like the pinks and the burgundies and even the orange, rust, clayish colors, those look so good to me. So, I got something, <laughs> of course. Now you guys know I like to use my imagination and I like to repurpose things. Most times what I use it for isn't what it's meant for. So I went to Home Goods and found this pink marble trash can and I think it is stunning. It's so pretty. So this is the first time I came up with this idea. I actually have a marble trash can in my living room that I'm using as like a like a mini sculpture, mini pedestal, whatever you want to call it. It's just kind of sitting there because it's so pretty and I just can't imagine putting nasty stinky stuff in these marble trash cans or we're gonna call them containers because I'm not using them as trash cans but I plan on using this as a planter I just need to find the right small faux tree because y'all know me plants come here to die okay and like I said marble can be considered kind of trendy but to me it's always gonna be a classic I've loved marble since I fell in love with home decor but I think this is just so stunning. You guys know I love Athena Calderon. She has this amazing pink marble shower that I always adore looking at. So I just wanted like a little piece. I didn't want to go all the way left with a bunch of pink everywhere and turn this into like a baby girl's aesthetic. I'm probably just gonna put this in my bedroom on my side marble table after I find a plant. It has these little moments of that rust or clay ish marble that i've been telling you guys about so i love that it has a little bit of variation it's not all monochrome and yeah so good next on the list is darker furnishings now i say this but let's be clear the neutral aesthetic isn't going anywhere anytime soon you can do whatever you want to do say whatever you want to say move on to the next question i said never land and i ain't changing <laughs> it's classic it's safe and it's still very much gorgeous but I am so excited that more attention will be put on darker sofas and textiles because if I'm being real, this sofa that I'm sitting on, <coughs> this sofa that I'm sitting on is about as light as it gets. I get clumsy sometimes, I spill things, life happens. So the idea of darker upholstery and finishes, sofas, things like that are way more practical in my opinion, especially if you have kids or pets or if you're a klutz like me. <laughs> I'm actually dying to get this chair I saw on menu. It's stunning, it's just, oh, it looks so soft and cozy. I just happen to not live in a mansion and I can't fit anything else <laughs> that size in my home. So, yeah. Now, do you have to get all new furniture? Hell no. The hell on. You can add a moodier, darker throw blanket or throw pillows. You can do some dark wall art, even DIY it to save some money or maybe do some vessels that are darker. Easy peasy. Now come on, you know I was gonna mention something sculptural. You know I wouldn't trip. Like I said, colder choice. Like I said, colder choices are in. Think metal and shapes make a baby, and we put them in our homes. This doesn't have to be anything elaborate though. We love seeing these grand pieces, right? But let's be honest, it's not gonna always make sense for your space. We don't all live in a Taj Mahal and have 50 foot ceilings where we can have these amazing sculptures and wall art and it, it. just be real with yourself, okay? I happen to have found this iron 
black taper candle holder and I think it is stunning. It is so sleek and clean and minimal. I love it. CB2 has a similar one. Theirs is $80. You're down. So I hope you can find this one because <laughs> $80 to me is just, yeah, I, I'm just not doing it. But go for it if you love it. This is a judge-free zone. I, I'm not counting your pockets. I'm not paying your bills. Buy what makes you happy. But like I was saying, I love this. I feel like it can fit any design style, whether you're traditional, whether you want to be trendy, whether you're minimal, whether <laughs> whether you're modern like it honestly fits anywhere it's stunning also in doing this video i didn't realize how many trendy pieces i had before they were trendy um you guys have seen this before as well i actually got this from h&m home it's this iron candle holder you put little tea lights in it it's so cute so small prime example of you can just pick up something small to elevate your space just a little bit if you don't want to completely commit to a trend so to speak and i even have this piece back here i actually have two of these um one of them made it here in my filming room and it gives you metal okay it's sculptural okay and it brings me to my next trend which is organic forms clearly this is organic like epitome of what organic can be in a bowl now i don't even need to explain a lot about this trend we've seen more and more organic shapes and tables and furnishings so for anybody <laughs> and even decor accents so you'll still be seeing more of that in coffee tables and side tables dining chairs just so good so interesting so fun now this next trend i'm actually shocked at how much i like it because it really it's kind of glam i gotta start drinking tea before i get on <laughs> because the way my voice cracks is crazy to me it gives glam adjacent like a more elevated glam if you will we're talking chrome okay so be prepared to see more chromes less brass and more silvers that kind of thing if you do it just right it actually looks really really good looking at these spaces that mix soft linens and furniture with chrome really reminds me of the mirrors that i have in my bedroom they're not chrome but they lean chrome if that makes sense and i think the reason why i love them so much and why i haven't changed them is because you guys know i love a good juxtaposition and that's what chrome is going to give us again bringing cooler and warmer pieces together and mixing them just the vibe okay my room has a lot of linen um it's very soft very cozy but those mirrors really give it some edge some roughness some toughness some hardness now i've actually seen this taper candle holder um sarah wisted actually mentioned it in one of her vlogs and i think it's an amazing way to bring in that chrome element but it's not going overboard if that makes sense again small pieces small transitions if you end up loving it you can change everything but take baby steps as i just said take baby steps I'm mentioning this now this is for the people who want to go big or go home like I'm doing it or I'm just not painted ceilings I actually love this concept and it doesn't have to be crazy y'all again it doesn't have to be like a red ceiling or lime green ceiling it quite literally can just be you taking the colors that you already have on your walls and expanding it to the ceiling easy it gives that monochromatic look. I love the way this looks with like a like a lime wash. You guys know I love lime wash. But I love how people have been kind of extending that up to their ceiling. Oh, it's just so, so good. It's bold, but it can also feel cozy because it kind of envelops the room in that color. Oh, that sounded romantic. <laughs> But like I was saying, this doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can be as subtle as you want it to be, but it'll still make an impact. <sighs> now this one is actually kind of scary because I've actually been leaning more minimal, but maximalism is back. Yeah. And apparently, so is a plane. <sighs> I don't even remember what I was saying maximalism is back but i want to put my little twist on it okay 
I love how minimal space looks absolutely adore it and I can only dream of having a space that has little to nothing in it but is still tastefully designed I say I can only dream because I have a little itty weeny shopping habit just a little one okay so what I like to do is buy pieces that are a little more complex but still clean and minimal if that makes sense that's what I mean by maximalism with a twist so just to show you guys what I mean, let's take this sculpture, for example. It has form, it has movement, it has texture, but it's also clean and sleek. Now, if I put this in a space and group it with a whole bunch of crap, it's gonna give maximalism. And if that's your style, do it. Go for it, sis. But what I love about pieces like this is if I put it in the right vignette with the right pieces, it can still give slight maximalism but still minimal and clean or you can group this with like items and be more maximal maximal it's a word today okay but by doing that you can still make it make sense and it can still look very elevated that whole thing probably made no sense like it makes sense in my head but hopefully it translated well Okay, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. This video was so interesting, so fun to make. The thing I love most about trends is you don't have to conform to it if you don't want to, but it's a way to kind of mix up your space and open your eyes up to different things, even though all they do is recycle it over the years. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.